Alright folks, so after it seems, like I say, a bit of a break, we're going to be back and jumping into what will be game three of a semifinal here. Uh, the, what is this, 76th SC Rush Plat Diamond Tournament. I am TBM taking over for one of our poor streamers who just can't afford a computer that actually works. So I guess I will be taking care of things from here on out. Um, like I said, this is, a, this is game three between these two players, and I'm just going to go ahead and introduce them first. Starting in the bottom left corner of the map Whirlwind, it's the Red Zerg player, Squizzeries. Super close to Squidward and like Ares together. It's an intriguing name you have there, sir. And his opponent, spawning in the top right, is the green, also a Zerg player. It's Pariah. Now, ZBZ is... It's a volatile matchup, to say the least. Um, especially at the start of HOTS, prior to the buff to Spore Crawlers. Um, it was pretty much just a mess of who can get the most mutas. Oops, I still have the stream going in my background, so that was not what I wanted to hear at that moment. But, yeah, it's, it's turned into a much nicer matchup now. There still are a lot of early game issues with um, early pool play. Uh, it doesn't look like either player is going to be doing any early pools since we are up to 14 to play without a pool so far. And given that it is on Whirlwinds, uh, going ahead and going up to a hatch first is usually very, very safe. Because even facing an early pool, uh, it's difficult to A, find your opponent, and B, get enough lings over there before they have their own lings and own defensive setup um, to actually take them out. Um, both players are going to be taking their naturals at just about the same exact time. Let's see how fast. Well, Squizzeris is about a second and a half quicker than Pariah, but absolutely no big deal. Uh, Pariah's just going to go for his gas before he decides to get his pool. Uh, he's going to want to have speed and the possibility of getting banelings early, just in case he is, uh, just in case he is getting, just have an early pool coming his way. He wants to be able to defend it somehow, uh, and indeed his pool is going to be coming down right now. Uh, and Squizzeris' pool is just now coming down, so he's definitely focused on, on getting a, a quick economic advantage and going into a late game just a heavy, heavy economy. Uh, he will take his gas, though, just to get speed up. It's never a bad idea in ZBZ to make sure you have speed and have it early. Uh, and both players are going to be blind for a long time, as their first War of Lords uh, both went uh, or horizontal positions. And both of them are actually sending their second War of Lords kind of almost the same diagonal pattern. Uh, Squizzares is facing a little bit more to go I imagine to check out this natural if his opponent were to spawn here, uh, but he obviously has not. And let's see if we can find. And yeah, same idea for this overlord. Just gonna check out the natural here. If this was the actual natural, but it is not. Uh, and yeah, this game's on the disc. Continue on for a little bit and see what choices these players have. Prize, uh, he hasn't taken out a gas yet. He is getting speed already, uh, and he has chosen to stay in gas after getting speed to see if Squizzeris decides to pull out or not. Uh, it can be really dangerous to do so, to pull out a gas in ZBZ, given how quickly banelings can just be in your face. And if you don't have the option to get your own banelings, uh, it, can, it can become a mess very quickly. And both players do have their first two lanes. They're going to be finally trying to get some scouting information done. Um, yeah. Eventually they'll find each other and see that they both are doing basically mirror builds. Uh, the only difference being that Pariah's speed was a little faster, and his bailing nest is a little bit faster. Um, so there's going to be a, a, an extremely tiny window of time that Pariah will be able to do a, a lot of damage if uh, Squizzeris is not able, or is not ready for it to come for him. Um, this Ling is going to get in here and see that there is a natural up. Um, it's not too many drones at this natural yet, so that, that, could, be, that could be a little worrisome, but he's going to get into the main, even, and scout up the bailing nest, maybe no. Queen is trying to block it off. It will be very, very close to being able to get over there. Uh, but the Queen is going to go back here and do her inject. Meanwhile, prize two lings. Oh, actually, they're going to turn into Bailings. And Squizzer sees this, but it's a matter of whether he actually notices that it is there. Uh, and he has seen that the Bailing Nest is existing, so uh, these two Bailings could pop in here and get uh, five or six drone kills if they get perfect hits. Uh, these two lings are seeing it now. Um, with the Queen and a good drone pull. He does lose four workers there. Uh, so a nice little victory there for Pariah in the early game. Um, and it looks like Squizzeris was, was planning on taking his third relatively quickly, um, given that he is so high on minerals right now. Uh, but he instead opted to add on some more links. 
What else did he add on? Don't know. But Prize Larry's coming out actually now. Uh, and he seems afraid of a bus coming his way. Yeah, it does seem that way. Uh, he did see all those lanes coming out, and it is indeed going to be a bus. And he's already just evacuated his natural and, and blocking up his ramp. So these lanes are going to come in here. Our links and banes are going to come in just natural and see basically nothing to kill. Uh, and he's going to give up on that. And these banelings behind the two queens. Uh, so unless the banelings get in here and somehow manage to take out everything. And he still doesn't see that there's no drones here. Uh, and now he does. And he's going to start picking up what he can. But again, there's just there's no drones down here. Um, he's not really going to gain much. And there are three queens up here. Uh, two of them have transfuses available. So even if these banelings get perfect hits on the queens as well at the same time, there are transfuses. So he's just going to pick away at this natural for a while. Um, and Pry will eventually push down with his own links and banelings when he is ready, and he's doing so. Uh, small engagement can happen, and Banelings going to run it, and Squizzers gets a really, really nice explosion there, uh, taking out all of Pariah's Banelings with only two of his own Banelings. Um, so small victory, but there is just, there's not enough for him to really push in here. Uh, he's going to continue on to add on all these links, though. Uh, and with Pariah going up to Lair, uh, he's going to be a little low uh, on his army units for just a couple more couple more minutes and with the queens having to defend the way they were he, he hasn't been able to inject completely well the way he would like and there are no banelings on the field for pariah so he's gonna be fighting just purely lings against banelings and lings uh, a lot of speedlings and still more speedlings coming across the map because they're just looking to end this game right now uh banelings will come in here and try to get some good hits off on the drones uh they're kind of playing ring on rosie they want to get the lings but nice control until that point he does lose basically everything there and it is it's now just a lot of lings it's 27 lings versus 30 drones and 3 queens right now. Uh, Squizarius with this huge swell of aggression is looking to take this game. Uh, there are some lings on the way for Brian, but he's going to pull drones and try to attack with those. Uh, and with more banelings morphing in already for Squizarius, it looks like he's going to be able to take this game. Uh, after a f opening with a little bit of a mishap with some drones, um, he is going to come back and take out almost every one of the drones. And with almost no workers. He's down to four workers and Pariah says, oh, good game and good luck in the finals. There you have it, ladies and gents. Squid's Ayers is our victor here. Takes the third game of this best of three series and he will go on to the finals to face whoever ends up there. I'm not really sure who it'll be. Uh, I'm going to switch my overlay and I'll turn on some music and meet my mic and hopefully I'll be back soon with another game for you.